Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Mommy Corner Monday. MCM, hey, hey. <laughs> I wanted to talk about a topic of incorporating the kiddos into your everyday life. Um, I currently have a one-year-old and a four-month-old and trying to get just the normal things done like washing dishes or just, you know, tasks and stuff around the house, even, you know, running errands, you know, I take the kids with me and do things like that. So I try to incorporate my son because he's having issues with when I go in the kitchen for long periods of time and I, in his mind it's like, okay, she's in there, she's gonna be in there for a minute, especially if I'm like washing dishes, cooking a meal. The only time he's okay with it if I'm, you know, filling up a sippy cup. <laughs> he's fine with that because, you know, that's something for him and I'm not gonna be in there that long. But, um, yeah, lately he's just been, every time I go in the kitchen, if it's longer than what he thinks it should be, he always comes and gets me. And he's trying to push me out the kitchen. He doesn't want me in the kitchen. So, no, he knows that once I'm in there, I'm going to be in there for a while. And that's, like, me, that's taking us away time from him. So, whether, it, you know, whether we're playing, reading a book, wanting to watch a movie, or just general, you know, mommy time, that's time he's not getting a chance to spend with mommy so what i decided to do was incorporate him in my task so what i ended up doing was we ended up cooking dinner so we turned around i i ended up we made black eyed peas macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes that's something simple and easy you know far as um prep and everything else like that so when he came in the kitchen like he normally does i'd already put the black eyed peas on so when he came in the kitchen i went and got the little stool set that up and he's he's because at first he's trying to get me out but then we saw i went and got the stool he's like okay what's going on what's she doing got the stool had him climb up on the stool told him what we were doing and got the box of macaroni had him stay right there get the box of macaroni open up the box let him pour that into the pot and turn around i got went and got the bag of potatoes and set the potato the bag of potatoes on the counter took one out handed it to him and had him hand it to me and I put it in the pot. So he started getting used to the fact that he reaches in the bag. He would grab it out of the bag. And then he would give it to me. I'd put it in the pot. And we would do that until, the, you know, the bag was empty. Because I didn't have that much in there. The bag was empty and the pot was full. Take, throw the bag out. So, and then what I did was I took him down off, the, off of the stool. Took the stool over to the sink. Went and brought the pot over. We filled that up with water. That's where, you know... He was happy, and he kind of got lost track, sidetracked, you know. <laughs> like, ooh, water, hand all in it. But he helped me fill up the pot, both pots, turned around, took and moved everything back, put everything on the stove, and we turned everything on. And it's funny because he's looking like, okay, well, what else is there to do? And I'm like, that's it. And then he had a fit. But it's just the fact that I was able to incorporate him and let him know, like, okay, I kind of got to be in here whether I want to or not, or you want me to not to be in there but it, it has to get done so and you know he had fun actually you know cooking and doing a little bit of work so it worked so i'm like okay cool i even incorporate him when we run our errands like when we go to the grocery store i let him scan scan the food he just i do this I, i'm a self-scanner sometimes i feel like standing in that long line takes way too much time but it I literally give him the item when he's hanging out the cart. He scans it. I take it and put it in the bag. And it's just little simple things that, you know, it helps your day a little bit. And it doesn't make it so have to be so hard, so frustrating when, you know, they're tired and they really don't want you to do what you need to, to do to get done as far as things in the house. But just thought, you know, maybe those little tidbits that help you guys and maybe trying to incorporate your kiddos in your daily activity because Lord knows the help can be nice and sometimes it can't be <laughs> but that's all i got for now until next time loves